Hey there, so welcome to my unboxing and review of the Saris Super Clamp EX 4 bike rack. Uh, I did a whole bunch of research into why I wanted to buy into the racks and I decided I wanted this one for a bunch of different reasons which I'll go into once we uh, get it on the car. But I'm going to go ahead and start opening it up and we'll take a look at it. Uh, you look down into it, there's the rack. And uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So we got some <coughs> instructions. There's the key with the lock for the pin and some other stuff down there. I'm going to pull it all out and we'll take a look at it when it's out of the box. Okay, so here's what we've got once you get it out of the box. You've got four little cradles right there that need to be attached. You've got the tongue for the stick that sticks back from the trailer. You've got the uh, bike crossbars and clamps, and you've got some miscellaneous hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and get it assembled, and uh, I'm going to put it on the back of my 2011 Honda Odyssey. And uh, yeah, all right, I'll, let's put it on. Okay, so here's the rack on the car. Really easy assembly. Each of these crossbars comes with these Allen bolts already installed and they're sticking through this cross piece. And they've got these little rubber caps on them that hold them in place during shipment. So all you have to do is line up this crossbar with those Allen bolts with the holes in this bracket and the holes in this bracket. Stick the Allen bolts through and then thread on these nylock nuts. Now one thing you want to do is before you pick this thing up and take off these little rubber guys you want to make sure you have these nuts out so that way once you get it up here you can put these on just sort of finger tight and it'll stay in place while you grab your wrench and your allen wrench uh, to tighten them down. So that's pretty easy. That's literally the only assembly you really have to do. You have to slide these cradles on um, which is pretty simple. There's this little push button at the end that allows them to come on and off. So all you have to do is shove them on there and there you go, you're all set. So now you've got all your cradles set up. So one of the first things I wanted to do was see if um, it would hold like little kid BMX bikes. So we're gonna stand up these uh, arms like that. Stand up this arm like that. And we're gonna try a BMX bike. Well, unfortunately, as I feared, the 16-inch uh, wheel is not quite big enough for the Saris. That's down at its lowest point, and it's not able to grab the 16-inch wheel. So even though the wheelbase is, uh, is okay, the uh, cradles will not hold a 16-inch wheel. That's a bummer. But that's okay, because my kids have outgrown these bikes. However, if you are looking at purchasing this bike, this rack, and you have bikes with 16-inch wheels, recognize uh, you might have to figure something out to clamp it some other way. But I'd say you probably want to wait for a different rack. All right, okay, let's see what other bikes we can put on here. Okay, so now we've got two bikes mounted. We've got my full suspension 29er, which I put closest to the car because I wanted to see how much space there was between the window and the bike, and there's probably, I don't know, 10 inches in there, nine inches, something like that. Um, so we've got my 29er, and then my oldest son's 24 inch bike, and they fit no problem. Handlebars got some good clearance there. Uh, had to adjust the pedals a little bit, but overall they appear to be doing okay. So uh, those fit pretty well, went on easily. I haven't done up the tire straps yet because we're not going anywhere today, but uh, I probably would. Although I got to tell you, um, I don't really even think you need the tire straps. If you really crank these things down, I think you might be able to get away without them. Those aren't going anywhere, but you know, it's probably a good idea to use them anyways. All right, time to put two more bikes on. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got four bikes installed. We've got the Santa Cruz 29er, we got the REI Special 24 inch, and then we've got a pair of specialized Hot Rock 20 inch bikes. Now, the 20 inch is kind of interesting. You have to kind of adjust where 
this arm is for it to clamp down. If you have it all the way up, it's not, not quite tight enough. So you have to kind of adjust it. As you can see, um, when the arms are in that position, you don't have the ability to clamp the rear wheel. So that's just because the bikes aren't long enough. Um, I've tried adjusting the front cradle to try and slide the bike back, but that doesn't appear to be a, to work. Now, I don't think this is all that big of a problem because it's got a pretty darn good grip on the front wheel. I mean, it's that's really in there. So I think that, plus using the uh, wheel straps, would be plenty. Um, so, you know, 16 or 20 inches, eh, not perfect. But I think that, you know, beyond that, um, it's uh, it's pretty easy to get bikes on here. Um, I'm curious as to uh, whether I can lower the rack and get the, the tailgate of my car up. So we'll try that next. Okay, so I pulled the uh, safety pin out. That's right here, so that pulls out of this hole. And then I've lifted up on the back of the rack and stepped down a little lever, lowered the whole thing. And uh, let's see. Yeah. yeah, clear just fine. So even with a full load of bikes, I can still get the trunk open on the, uh, on the minivan. Nice. Okay, so the other thing I want to do is take a look at exactly how far it sticks back from the car. So here's the pedal handlebar and handlebar looks like it's the part that sticks out the most that sticks out maybe like 53 inches or so yeah, right in here 52 53 now the rack itself only sticks out about 40 inches um, now this is nice that's from the, the pin by the way uh, I'm measuring from the the locking pin on the Oh, there you go. I can sort of see it back in there. I'm measuring from the pin itself. So actually, from the back of the car, it's a lot less. From the back of the car, we're sticking back maybe 50 inches, something like that. So it's really not that big a rack, which is certainly nice. I really didn't want something that sticks way off. I'm going to try and get a measurement on a kuat and a, to and a tuli at some point, but I think they stick back a lot further. In any event, I'm pretty happy with it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. But uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty solid rack. Goes together easily and uh, pretty easy to load. Yeah, not bad. Okay, here's the uh, last thing. I folded the bike up, or the rack up, and I need to get this done quickly because it's starting to rain. Because uh, I want to show you more or less how close it gets to the car. I can't open up the tr the lift gate, but uh, you know I guess I could deal with this if I was driving around for a little while on vacation or something like that. Oh, it's starting to rain. I got to do this quickly. Okay, so just so you can measure it off your car, I'm going to measure from the bolt, the locking pin, back in there. It sticks out about 21, yeah, 21, 20, 21 inches, and that's from the pin. So let's wrap this up. Uh, I purchased my rack from REI and applied a 20% off discount coupon. So that way I got it for just a little bit over $700. And if you compare it to the Kuats and the Thule's and the other racks, it's a heck of a lot less. Um, really great rack. We've used it a couple of times and it seems dependable and seems well built. Uh, the only bummer was that when we did get it from REI, it took a long time for it to be delivered because they don't keep it in stock. So it took about a month, which is kind of a drag. But I got to tell you, it's a great rack. And if you have any questions, just leave some comments and I'll try to answer them. All right. Thanks. Bye.